Gebannt blickt man hier in Here Brüssel, in Brussels, as in most parts of the European Union, all eyes are on Germany. The federal election campaign has put most big political projects to one side, the banking union as well as plans to foster growth. Ohne eine no big decisions are taken anymore in the EU without a clear position from the Chancellor's office here in Berlin. Many Europeans are hoping for clarity after the elections. Germans agree with the steps of their Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is, according to all polls, most likely to continue in her role. They feel she's someone they can trust, and Merkel has kept European issues strictly out of the election campaign. Only the left party and the alternative for Germany party have been campaigning on European issues. But most Germans feel that the priority of the campaign lies elsewhere. Ah, the minimum wage. I work just here, and if you work for such a small salary, it's almost not worth working. Europe wasn't at the centre of the election campaign, and I think Europe is not really an idea that has taken root in our society. Germans want to defend their economic assets, and therefore they try to defend their rights. But even if Merkel is forced into a coalition with the Social Democrats, those who hope for a more flexible Germany could still be disappointed. There's a strange misunderstanding from Labour in Britain and the French Socialists, oh, with an SPD in coalition with Merkel, oh, they'll be soft on the euro and, you know, they'll spend more and they'll, they'll uh, defend the social charter and everything in, in, the, in Europe. Yes, the SPD will defend this, but the, remember the SPD supported Angela Merkel all the time on, her, on the way she managed the euro crisis. In Europe, hopes are high that this election will fundamentally change the situation, but more than anything, the German Chancellor might get an even stronger mandate to push for what's dear to her. Great austerity, reforms in France and in Greece.